What's up everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm gonna be covering daily documents and dates in Remnote. Daily docs are a super useful feature in Remnote for many workflows, including project management stuff, studying, research, you name it. So let's get right into it. So what are daily docs? Daily docs are Rem documents that are automatically generated every single day. You can use them to keep track of your work in chronological order, and you can also use them to link Rem to specific dates if that's important. Daily docs behave very similar to Rem references in that they create documents for your Rem, and they also turn blue when you put them in your editor. Just like references, you can left click on daily docs to open them up in the editor, and a right click will open up the page preview and also some other additional settings. So how do you make a daily document? To make a daily document, go into your sidebar and click on new document and select today's document. So today is October 6, 2021, and as you can see, it behaves just like a rem reference by having these two search portals. The first search portal being any time I've referenced this date in my knowledge base before. And as you saw in that previous document that I was just in, I was comparing this to references. And the second portal helping you find any unlinked references you have to this particular rem. So every single day when you click on new document in the sidebar and use today's document, you're going to have a new document. To view all of the daily documents in your knowledge base, simply go to the sidebar hit the All Notes tab and click on Daily Documents. And this is going to show you all the daily documents that you currently have used in your knowledge base. And daily documents are only going to be created if you actually use them that day. So for example, I didn't use the daily docs for the last couple of days, which is why I'm missing October 4th and October 5th. But it goes chronologically and you can view all of the time to use daily docs in your entire knowledge base. The other way to access your daily documents is to actually open up the daily docs folder. To do that, I'm going to use Control plus P to search and open up any rem in my knowledge base. I'm going to type in daily docs, and here's the daily document folder. And here I can also see or access all of the daily docs in my knowledge base. Now let's talk about using daily docs as dates. So as you can see, daily documents are linked to dates in the calendar. When using dates in RemNote, you can reference dates in the past, today, or even in the future. Let's use an example. So let's say that I'm in biology class and my professor says we have an exam this coming Friday. So I'm gonna make a note of that in today's daily document. So to do list for today. And so I'll astutely type in today, study for exam on Friday. To insert a date, use two exclamation points. Two exclamation points will bring up the calendar. And you can either manually select a date on the calendar by scrolling through and using your mouse, or you can just type in the date itself, October 8th. What I've done is just created a document for October 8th, which is in the future. If I hold shift and click on October 8th to open up this rem in a second pane, we'll see, yep, I just created a document for October 8th, and it's been linked to October 6th which is a document over here. Rebno also recognizes plain language text. So if you don't know the exact date of three weeks from now, you can just type in three weeks from now and it'll recognize that. So let's say uh, plan for dates with cute girl in three weeks. And it will automatically recognize that date. This also works for dates in the past, yesterday, five days ago, next Thursday, you get the idea. And if I open up the daily documents tab again using control P, you can see all the dates that are referenced show up here with locations of where they were referenced in your knowledge base. All right, everyone, that's everything about daily documents and dates. Hopefully that helps you get started and I will see you all in the next video.